Hi guys, Chris here from Amazon Dominator. Got a quick video for you. Uh, I just wanted to tell you about the, if you haven't picked up Easy Aids on free yet, now's the time to do it. They've actually, the time has run out, but they've actually extended the time for another 12 hours and then the price goes up. Uh, it's really, really good. Well, one of the best, one of the best plugins I've seen. Um, just simply because it's very simple. I've gone on and on about it. You can actually see in the email that I've sent you, I've also sent my the, the review I did, the video review, if you want to check through the review. But it's one of the best plugins I've seen, quite simply, because it makes your links more clickable in like one click. You just search for the product you want and then you've got it in your in your WordPress blog. And also for the um down here the wasted traffic, uh obviously you know, you, you'll be more than likely dealing with United States, United Kingdom and Canada and Australia. They're like the main ones, Amazon ones. And uh, you can get the the, uh, the traffic back because it will automatically work where someone clicks on that. And as long as you've got an Amazon affiliate account for each of these, uh, you'll get commission. So you don't lose any traffic. Um, so that's it's just really really good and the calls to action when you get a big link like this you're going to get far far more clicks uh, so I recommend picking that up you've got the link in the email and also you will get free access to the Amazon Christmas countdown as well that I'm going to talk about today I just also wanted to talk about so that's easy A's on pick that up if you haven't got it because it will really help you if you're going to join me with the um, follow along with the Christmas countdown follow along and I'm going to explain how that works but I wanted to also give you some information on the, well more what I've been trying to get across with SEO because a big question or the biggest question is how can you rank on Google uh, that goes on and on lots of people have different opinions on that and I just wanted to go and tell you exactly what Google says and not blowing my own trumpet but it's pretty much what I've been saying all along but they've said it in a way that's even more clear than what I said it let's have a look here you should see on your screen now um, Google Hummingbird it's basically a, a press release or an article on the Google Hummingbird and that's the latest Google update they tend to all be named um, different animals I'm not sure why but this is the latest one and I just wanted to go through a few points here because it's a really really good article um, here's a few points about SEO and if you're trying to get ranked this is something to really bear in mind and what I've tried to do with the course uh, one of the questions I get with the course is hang on you're not doing keyword research and long tail keywords and I can understand that um, partly with the keyword tool going down and then partly because what we're trying to do with with the Christmas method especially is try to get sales off the product name when people are searching for the product they're searching for relevant phrases and then um, obviously once we've got that once they found us you're getting your filtering traffic through which is why in turn that easy azon free works so well because you the main thing is once they get to the site they're looking for information on the product but they're not necessarily looking to buy through your links so the more call to action you have the better it will work but anyway um, the main thing with SEO is as it says here it used to be that you'd add as many relevant keywords onto your site as possible like this joke here an SEO copywriter walks into a bar pub public house hotel restaurant and orders a beer lager wine whiskey drink because it's a joke because that, that's used to be you'd enter as many words that are relevant to your content as possible but Google's moving away from that and this is what this article is saying um, again it used to be that Google would look for content like best London restaurant SE1 but people are more likely to this was like years back people would type in that um, but they're more likely to type in now with all Twitter and mob using the web on the mobile and everything where's the best place to eat near London Bridge okay and Google is updated enough through the years to actually give good information on that so th this is the thing um, they're basically the algorithm the hummingbird 
is they're looking for natural content located through a conversa uh, conversational search. And that's what I've been trying to, with the course, what you're trying to do is not focus, and again, I'll say it again, you're not trying to focus on getting ranked in the search engines in terms of writing your content. So you don't have to worry so much about when you're writing on a toy, for instance, you're not trying to mention that, excuse me, you're not trying to mention that product name, especially again and again. You're just trying to focus on writing as much relevant information about that product. And the keywords will come in naturally, and that's what they're looking for. Um, just go down here. So you'd, you'd have that. That's, that's how it used to be. Best London Restaurant SE1. Now people type in conversational searches. So that's why when I showed you in another video, when I showed you like on Stack Counter on the Furby Boom example, you can see that's getting picked up on all sorts of phrases like lowest price, what's the difference between the Furby and the Furby Boom? And that's why, because it's got a lot of good content on there, but not it's not trying so hard to get ranked on a, a phrase by writing it hundreds and hundreds of times. Here's the, the best bit of this article. Um, the key to understanding Hummingbird is the fact that Google's advice remains unchanged. And this is what I wanted to get across in the course as well, because as far as I know, um, literally through that 12, 13 years of doing this stuff and ranking, and even before that working for an SEO firm, I, I haven't seen too much change. And I know that's a, a huge statement because people worry about SEO and all the updates, but it literally is here in this sentence. Nothing has changed. If you have original high quality content and you have high quality and relevant websites linking to your own website, then your website is still going to rank well, which is exactly the process. So if you have all your sites, all your like Christmas sites, they're all linking together. You've got a main site holding them together with really good relevant information and that links back to them. That's fulfilling that and you will get rankings. And then based on that, you then go back to the sites that are ranking well. That's why you need a few of them out there. You go back to the sites that are ranking well and concentrate on them and build them up into authority sites. Um, but it just mentions down here another good thing. Um, here we go. Instead of asking what keywords will users be searching for, we need to ask what kind of information a user is looking for. And that's why you've got your site, they're looking for a review. And, and the, the main questions that they're asked, I mean, with, this, with the Christmas cash method, will be, where's the best price? Where's the best place to order? And what does it do? Um, you know, like an in-depth features, and that's what the site will cover. Um, or hopefully that's what your sites will cover and you'll get ranked because that's the information people are looking for. Um, and it just mentions here, if you look at most web, web searches, the first result is Wikipedia. And if you look at Wikipedia, it's not particularly SEO'd on any, any phrase. It just gives loads and loads and loads of information. So the more content, the better. Um, what I would try and say is try and stay away from getting caught. And this is easily done. I've done this uh, in writing in a templated format. So you can go through the course and you need an introduction, a features list, then the benefits of those features, then a call to action. But following those steps, do try and sort of write in your own style or add a bit of yourself into it. Because if you just follow it and, for instance, if you load up my Furby site and you literally use that as a base so much so that you're not actually writing any unique content, you might just replace the toy name but that's not going to rank you so well. You need to actually have informative content. And the best way to do that is write the content from scratch without using my site as a base. As long as you know that you've got an introduction you need, as long as you know that you're going to put the features next and then talk about those features, it's far better if you do so in your own sentence structures and so on. Because you can run into um, sort of feeling that you've got all unique content, but if you read through, it would be pretty much the same with the product name change. So that's just something to watch out for and just keep on going and keep on adding, um, adding the content and make sure that it's written in your, in your way and uh, just 
right for the customers and not for the search engines and your rank. Um, which brings me on to the last last point. I wanted to talk a bit more about the Christmas countdown. That's actually coming on Wednesday. Um, what it is, it will be a Google Plus group, a private Google Plus group. Um, you'll have the email ready for you on Wednesday. I'll send it straight out. And it will be a follow-along um, that literally will cover all these points. So, you're, you know, we're coming up to Christmas, but you'll actually be able to see me build the sites, add in content, uh, see rankings, see sales come in, see SEO, how it works. Now, I know we've been through this and you've got the, um, you've got the Amazon Christmas Cash course. I understand that. But this will be good for twofold. For those of you that haven't got started, because I know there'll be lots of you out there, it will give you a real base motivation to actually get up and get going with it and, and you can follow along. And you'll be able to see content posted daily, videos and guides that help you um, basically get up and get going. You're going to have an action plan with that as well. And you'll also be able to see if you have taken action, you've got your sites and you're trying to get them ranked, You'll be able to see how I'm doing it and how much content you need to add and, and so on. It will just answer all the questions. So, yeah, do take advantage of that. You'll be able to see sales coming in, traffic coming in, and um, how to do it yourself. So it's just a case of sort of um, joining the group. Um, once, you, once you purchase it, it's going to be $7, so it's just $7. And once you purchase it, you will get an invite to the private group and obviously content posted daily so you can see what's going on and you will also get action plans so I suggest beginner, intermediate or advanced and you get to pick what level you're at I will give an explanation of where I think you should be based on, if you call yourself a beginner I'll give you an expl explanation of what I consider to be a beginner Intermediate the same, I'll give you an explanation of what I consider to be intermediate. An expert is really just saying that you've got no problems with the technical side, the graphics and the SEO and you're just looking for the fastest action plan. But you will get an action plan to follow so you can make money before Christmas. And I'm looking at adding a forum onto that group as well, a brand new forum so we can all meet up and more to motivate each other, more to hopefully this follow along with the groups. You'll be, the, the other good thing about it, it was sort of be like a forum because the Google Plus group, when I post it will be a private group and you'll be able to add content. Um, I don't mean add posts, I mean you'll be able to comment on posts and ask questions so you'll be able to get support as well. So I will send that out on Wednesday, do keep an eye out for that. Do go over and grab Easy A's on free, I really recommend it. Um, you've got the link in the email. The reason being, if you're going to get the uh, Christmas countdown, it will do wonders for your sites and for the click-through rate. And, of course, um, in the Google Plus group, there will be more, lots more on SEO. And I'll explain that more in depth and give you examples and so on. Okay, guys, I'll leave it there. And I will see some of you, or hopefully most of you, on Wednesday, where I'll be posting the first video for the follow along and showing you how to make sales fast. Okay guys, cheers.